Okay, so I added a bunch of stuff to the Arduino. Um, there's a bunch of sensors that come with my inventor kit, and uh, I used some of them. I wired them up, and I guess that's what we'll go over right now. I'll have to do this in two videos because I definitely don't have enough time to explain it. Let me uh, let's see if I can make this a little bigger for you. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, okay, that's how it stays. Um, we got <coughs> a pressure sensor that um, lets more voltage through as you squeeze it. I've got a uh, photo cell here, and I have a variable resistor. I guess I can say how I hooked it up. It's five volts positive to the you know whatever the first bleed it's in and out uh, the same bank here I have the Arduino uh, three pin <coughs> uh, analog three pin hooked up to the output but I also have a resistor hooked up at the end uh, so it brings the current down and I get better numbers from it the, it's a 10 kilo ohm resistor and then I have a a photo resistor here so as I get closer and further away it puts out different values and that is hooked up to my analog 2 or my analog 1 actually and uh, I have this resistor I don't know the value it's brown black orange it gave me better values out of it to the <coughs> so that goes uh, inside of the circuit hooked up in series with the photoresistor, but you actually take the um, the analog pin connection before the resistor. Um, then I got my my uh, variable resistor here with five volts in, signal out to analog zero, ground. I don't know if that helps you or not. So much time I have left. I got time. So I added a bunch of code to the uh, Arduino test file. So this is what we were messing with the last video. We have our outputs here, but I added one, two, so it's zero, one, and two because I'm using three of the analog inputs right here, and each one of them is giving me a number right now. So the photo cell is at 80. As I put my hand closer, as you can see in the video here, there's lag, so I mean, I'm putting my hand closer here. Give me a couple seconds. Come oh, on, Jesus. Oh, there. There is my hand. Ten seconds later. But look at the photo cell. The, uh, the one output on the analog pins, it's 0.65 to 0.66. You know, when I take it away, ten seconds later my hand will go away and my values have gone up to 0.79. And then we have analog two right here. It's at zero. That's because it's the the squeezy guy. So I squeeze him, and it goes up. My mouse is in the way, so you can't see what it's going to. But there you go, point five, whatever. And then this first one right here is the potentiometer that I had in the last video. And there we go, it's going up and down as I twist it there. <coughs> Pretty cool. So now what I did with those values is I took the output in max MSP in edit mode and uh, brought it over here and multiplied them by a thousand got the integer box you gotta remember because there's a decimal point in the number you have to do a thousand decimal point and whenever you're not getting the value that's probably the reason is that you didn't put a, a decimal point so wherever you go and whatever you do with that number it always has to have a decimal point entered in the box when you're messing with it let's see if I can show you put it in here Um, no, it doesn't look like it. So, there you go. I multiply it by a thousand and it gives me, so, it gives me that number, this number, and this number right here when I squeeze this guy. Bam. So, those are then fed into this theremin code. Oh, I'm running out of time. Um, that's it for now. We'll go to the next one where I'm actually making noise with it.